Hi, welcome. In this video, I will show you how to set up and use Libby. Libby is the library's new app for ebooks and audiobooks. This app allows you to download an ebook or an audiobook straight to your device, which allows for reading and listening on the go. Let's get started. First, you'll go to your app store. On this device, I'm going to go to the Apple App Store, but if you're on an Android device, you'll go to the Google Play Store. Type in the search bar at the top, Libby by Overdrive. Okay, here it is. Click Get, and let's give that a second to download. When you open the app, Libby will walk you through setting up your account. You will only have to enter your account information when you first set up your device. Now you should stay logged in until you choose to log out. She will first ask if you have a library card. Let's click Yes. Next, she will ask for your library. You can either search for your library or if you have tracking on, you can have Libby search for your library. I'm gonna manually search for our library. So type in Monmouth County Library. And if you have belong to a specific branch, you can type a hyphen in and then that library. Say Ocean, which would look like this. Now we have to enter our library account details. So click here. Now enter the number on the back of your card. It's the whole number with no spaces. And voila, now we're in the virtual library. There are two main buttons on the bottom. Library, which brings you to the virtual library, and shelf, which brings you to your account. While you're in the library, you can browse for books on the homepage or search for a specific book or author in the search bar. Let's browse the catalog. Once you find something you are interested in, you can click on the cover for more information. Let's walk through downloading this audiobook first. Once you find one you want, click borrow, click borrow again. And once the item has completed its download, you will see a circle with a check next to it. It's that easy. You can open it immediately, choose to keep browsing, or go to your shelf. The process is similar with an ebook. Let's find an available ebook. Okay. Once you find one, click borrow. Click borrow again. Once the item completed its download, you will see the circle with the check next to it. Now, if you want to read on the device you're on, such as your iPad or your iPhone, you're done. That's it. If you want to read on your Kindle, you have to send the item there. So you'll go to your shelf. Click Read With, now choose Kindle. This will bring you to the Amazon store. Once you log in, you can send your Kindle book to the Kindle library. If the item you want is unavailable, you can place it on hold. Let's find a book. Okay, this one is currently unavailable, and you can tell because instead of borrow, it says place a hold. You can place a hold by clicking place hold and then place hold again. That's it. You can check on the status of your items by clicking on your shelf, and all of your items are right there. You never need to worry about late fees because the item you borrow will be automatically returned at its due date. If you have any questions about ebooks and audiobooks, please feel free to reach out to us via the chat reference on our homepage or email us at mcl at monmouthcountylib.org or by phone at 1-866-941-8188. Thanks for watching this video.